This video will cover object selection in Boxy SVG. We'll cover the transform and the edit tools. We'll also learn how to select from the objects panel and from the elements panel. The first method we'll learn is selecting using the transform tool. If you hover over the transform tool and left click on it, you'll be in the transform tool. And then you can hover over any object and just left click on that object to select it. When an object selected, you can left click and hold to move that object around. Or if you notice it has these little blue squares around it, you can left click and hold on the square to change the width or the height of that object. And if you go to the corner, you can expand the width and the height in that direction. To select multiple objects at once, you can hold down the shift key and then select an additional object. You can keep left clicking and select as many objects as you want to. Then when you let go of shift, you can just left click and move them all around together or you can change them just like we could an individual object. If you want to get off of the selection, just left click into the empty space and you'll have no selection. I want to bring your attention to this breadcrumb system in the top left hand corner. Right now it just says SVG. That's showing us that it's our entire document. But if we left click on the circle, now we see the circle is now selected and it's blue telling us that we're active in the circle. Another way to deselect is just to click back on the SVG to get back to nothing being selected. And if we select on something that happens to be a group, it'll tell us that it's a group. This is a, a collection of eight different colored rectangles that are all grouped uh, in a series of groups. It's possible to have groups within groups. If we hover over here and click, we see this is a collection of grouped objects. And if we double click again, it lets us choose which group we want. There's a two groups, a top one and a bottom one. If we select the bottom group, we see we're inside this group. We can double click again, and now we can select an object even within the group. So I just double clicked multiple times on this beige rectangle, and we see this beige rectangle is actually part of a group that's part of a larger group. So it's possible to have groups within groups. We'll cover more on that in future videos, but just be aware that that is possible. And to learn more about this, this brings us into the Objects panel. If you hover over on the right hand side, this is the Objects panel. You can left click and it shows us the current object that we have selected. In this case, it's a group. And if we want to learn more about it, we can expand it by clicking this triangle. And it shows us within this group, there are two more groups. We can click on each of those and it'll highlight and show us what group that is. And we can even expand that group further to get into the individual rectangles. So we can see these rectangles, they're selected, and now we can left click and move this around or change the size if we want to. To undo a change, if you ever do something that you want to undo, you can always go to Edit, Undo, and it will undo the last change you did. You can also do Control Z on the keyboard. Another way that you can get into grouped objects, if we click out, if we go back to our main SVG and have nothing selected, uh, if we click on this, it goes to the group, but if we hold down the control key on the keyboard and then left click, we can click into the lowest item in that group. We can also select these objects just from the objects panel by clicking on the rectangle, for example, or the triangle, and it will become selected. And we can do the same thing if we hold down the shift, we can select multiple objects from the object panel and those all become selected. We can even create our own group by going to object group and now those three will become their own group and we can, when we select them, they'll all move together and transform together as long as they are one group. Another way to select objects is from the elements panel. If we click on the elements panel, it shows us the code for our SVG document. We can expand it with this triangle as well. I'm going to ungroup these objects so this makes a little more sense. We'll go to object ungroup and that changes the code down here. Every, all the changes we make are going to change this code. For example, moving this circle right now is changing the location of it in the code. We can change the, the color as well. If we want to change the color of this fill, we can just click in here to where it says 222, two, two, maybe change it to 122 two, and press enter, and that'll change the color. So the, just know that the things that correspond in this elements area, uh, they correspond to the objects drawn in our document. And we can click on this circle, for example, in the code, and it selects the circle. We can click on this path and it'll select this path. We can make changes either here in the elements or we can make changes on the canvas. And it's just another way that we can select. If we select the triangle on the canvas, it becomes highlighted in the elements panel. We'll cover more about this in future videos as well.
The transform tool has a few options. If we left click on the transform tool, we'll be in that tool, but if we left click again when it's already selected, it brings up some of the options. We have options for changing the selection shape, which is set to rectangle right now, meaning if we left click and hold, it will create a rectangular selection window, and anything within that window will become selected. We can change this to a polygon, which means when we left click and hold, we can draw a freehand shape, and anything within that shape will become selected. This is nice if you have something uh, in the way of a rectangle. So if we had this kind of over here and it was getting in the way of our rectangular selection, we didn't want to select both. We could choose the polygon selection and just very carefully outline the, the object we wanted to select. Another way to do that is if we go back into rectangular selection, the container mode, the selection mode shows us right now we have to contain the whole object in order to select it. But we could change that to intersection, which means anything that the selection mode comes in contact with, or the selection window, it will select that object. So you can quickly, and you can con combine these two with polygon, we can quickly select all three of these just by running into each of them. So there's different situations you'll run into when you want to use those. In addition to selecting with the transform tool, we can also select with the edit tool, and it gives us some different options. In the edit tool, if we left click, notice we get these sort of handles. We can create rounded corners. We can create rounded corners on the triangle. We can change this to more of a right triangle. And when we select on a path, we can get in and edit the different nodes of the path. I'll change the size of this real quick using the transform tool, then get back into the edit tool, and we can see every individual node and control how the arcs work and come out of this. We're going to play more with um, paths and uh, editing these nodes in future videos, but just know that there's a difference between objects and paths, and the edit tool lets us edit special um, geometry attributes of the objects. Also, one thing that it can do is the gradients. So while uh, in the edit mode and while we have an object selected that has a gradient like this square, we can go into the fill settings and we can change the colors of this gradient. So right now it's like a red, a lighter red in the middle, but we could click on the center and change that to maybe a black color. And so we can have a gradient from black to red and we can adjust the angle that this is coming out at. So adjusting gradients are going to be with the edit tool and not with the transform tool. Well, hopefully you've learned about the differences between transform and edit and some different ways that you can select objects within Boxy SVG.